HipFig Travel Channel offers DIY travel video guides for more than 25 cities in Asia, US, and Canada. If you like this video, then subscribe, give us a thumbs up, or a comment. Welcome to HipFig's Travel Guide series on Dubai United Arab Emirates. In this video, we'll be sharing our visit to the Burj Khalifa. Our Dubai Burj Khalifa guide will help and guide you for your visit while you're in Dubai. The Burj Khalifa in Dubai is currently the tallest megatail skyscraper in the world at 828 meters. It also has 160 stories. The Burj Khalifa, or Burj, took about five years to construct. It is so tall that flight paths had to be changed in Dubai since it was completed. It was designed using Islamic architecture of spiraling geometric patterns. By the way, if you're like me and didn't know what a megatail skyscraper was, there are skyscrapers that reach beyond uh, 600 meters. The Burj Khalifa is located next to the Dubai Mall. To get to the observation deck's entrance of the Burj Khalifa, you have to go through the Dubai Mall. You can get to Burj Khalifa easily by taxi, bus, or big bus. Asked to be dropped at the Dubai Mall. You can also take the Metro Red Line and exit at Burj Khalifa Dubai Mall stop. You'll go inside the mall and follow the signs for the Burj Khalifa. You'll have to walk about 10 to 15 minutes through the Dubai Mall to reach the ticketing center and entrance of the Burj Khalifa. For more information about the Dubai Metro or taxi, visit hipfig.com or watch our Dubai transportation and taxi videos on YouTube. There are two types of tickets you can purchase for the Burj Khalifa, the At the Top and At the Top Sky. The At the Top tickets, which are the general tickets, get you to levels 124 and 125. The At the Top Sky tickets get you into level 148 in addition to 124 and 125, which are also more expensive. When you purchase your ticket, you'll have to select a time frame. You can purchase online or at the ticket counter. If you are not flexible for time, make sure to book online to ensure your time frame or buy an immediate entry ticket. If you purchase at the counter or have a voucher to redeem, make sure that your time is flexible. You may have to come back after a few hours or the next day depending on how busy they are. We arrived at the Burj Khalifa at 10 a.m. We had a go to buy card so we exchanged it for a ticket at 10.30 a.m. which was the only one available that day. We bought our tickets as part of the Smart Destinations Go to Buy card package. We saved about 300 U.S. dollars per person in all the attractions we went to. Please note that no big bags are allowed. There's a storage counter for your bags for a fee. You'll also go through airport-like security at the entrance. Once you pass security, you walk along a path to the elevator. Along the path, you'll see a model of the Burj Khalifa. This is a great photo op. There's also a place where you can see up the length of the birds. It's really easily missed, so make sure not to pass it up. The lines continue along the path to the elevators Along the walls, you also find the history of the Burj and the construction. There is also an interactive wall showing live tweets as well. Once on the elevators, you'll go up to the 124th level. It does get crowded, so your view of the city can't be dampened if you arrive during peak times. There are also restrooms on this level, although they have a limited number of stalls. Once you arrive, you're treated with a 360 degree view of Dubai. There's also an outside veranda that you can go and look at the spectacular views. Please note that there are higher ticket costs during prime time hours which have different times for the general admission and sky tickets. Immediate entry tickets also cost more than the general tickets. Be sure not to miss the 125th floor which is a bit hidden. To get to the 125th level, there are stairs you can walk up. Here's a great tip. We really recommend purchasing the Go Dubai card by Smart Destinations for incredible discounts if you're planning to go to other attractions in Dubai. For example, just in the Dubai Mall alone, we got two enormous meals at top restaurants, the Burj Khalifa at the top Sky Tickets, 
the aquarium, and ice skating rink. There are also a few more attractions included in our package at the mall that we didn't have time for. If you think this Go to Buy card deal is useful to you, buy through the Go to Buy card link at hipfig.com on the Dubai Burj Khalifa page. As you continue your visit on the Burj Khalifa, there's also a lounge sort of section with plastic hanging chairs that you can sit on and watch the views. Once your visit is complete to the Burj Khalifa, you'll take the elevators down and on your exit you'll see the Dubai Mall Fountain Area. It'll take about two or more hours from the ticket counter to your exit depending on your interest and how busy it is. The Burj Khalifa is a must when visiting Dubai. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.